The Uganda scheme was a plan in the early 1900s to give a portion of British East Africa to the Jewish people as a homeland. It drew support from Theodore Herzl, a prominent Zionist, as a temporary refuge for European Jews facing antisemitism. History British colonial secretary Joseph Chamberlain was aware of the ambitions of the Zionist organisation, which had been on his mind during a trip to East Africa earlier in the year. Chamberlain noted during his trip that, "...if Dr. Herzl were at all inclined to transfer his efforts to East Africa there would be no difficulty in finding land suitable for Jewish settlers." Herzl was introduced to Chamberlain by Israel Zangwill in the spring of 1903, a few weeks after the outbreak of the Kishinev pogroms. Chamberlain offered 13,000 square kilometers, 5,000 square miles at Uasin Gishu, also spelled GWA's Nishu, an isolated area atop the Mao escarpment in modern Kenya, not Uganda. The land was thought suitable because of its temperate hill station like climate and its relative isolation, being surrounded by the Mao forest. The offer was a response to pogroms against the Jews in Russia, and it was hoped the area could be a refuge from persecution for the Jewish people. Chamberlain saw the land as he was passing by on the Uganda Railway, although the land was not in fact in Uganda but in the East Africa Protectorate, modern Kenya. This territory had only recently been transferred from the Uganda Protectorate to the East Africa Protectorate in 1902 as part of the Uganda Railway Development Plan. In fiction The story of the 1904 expedition, as well as an imagined vision of a Jewish state in Uasin Gishu, is told in Lavi Titter's novelette, Uganda, in his 2007 collection Hebrewpunk. Adam Rovner's, What if the Jewish state had been established in East Africa? A travel guide for the fictional Jewish homeland of New Judea, located in present-day Uganda, won the 2016 Sidewise Award for Alternate History Award for Short Form Alternate History. According to Adam Rovner, the plan was attractive to early Zionists as it twinned the adventures of Henry Morton Stanley with the adventurism of the Age of Empire, stagecraft with statecraft. See also Abayudia Madagascar Plan Jewish Autonomous Oblast Slattery Report Fugu Plan Beta Israel Lemba People Proposals for a Jewish State Jewish Territorialist Organization